She started having troubles remembering recent events, getting confused, losing her logic. Now, she can't walk or eat. She even forgot who we are. Who we are. Who we are. Who we are. Hi. Your brain is the most complex organ in your body. It helps you feel, move, learn, speak, and take decisions. And like all of your organs, it is made of cells, very special cells. We call them neurons. Everything in your body is commanded by an electrical message that moves from a neuron to the other. You can think of it as a football field. Between two neurons, there's a gap called synapse. Normally, the nervous message can pass through the synapse to the other neuron, and so on. But so that a neuron can work, it also needs to eat. It contains its own railroad formed of microtubules and proteins called tau. That's where nutrients pass and the neuron stays alive. So that was our video for... Wait, I think I forgot something. What could happen if these processes misfunctioned? Well, that's the Alzheimer's disease. Sounds familiar, right? Let's get back to our football field. What if something decided to sit in between the two neurons? The nervous message won't be transmitted. We call this a plaque. Usually in the brain, two parts of a protein are formed, the alpha amyloid and the gamma amyloid, and they are good. But in the case of Alzheimer's, instead of the alpha, a beta amyloid is formed. The problem is, beta amyloids aren't really polite. They stick together and form plaques. These plaques stop the nervous messages. So, without nervous message, the brain won't function properly. Hmm, naughty. But that's not everything. Remember the tau proteins? Well, in the case of Alzheimer's, they decide to detach from the microtubules. The railroad of microtubules will then be destroyed, and nutrients would not be able to reach the neuron. And so, what does it mean? You can imagine this laptop as a neuron. If the neuron does not receive nutrients, it will die. Eventually, neurons will be progressively killed, and since they are the cells of the brain, the brain of the Alzheimer's patient will be regressing until he dies. So clearly, Alzheimer's disease is as complex as the human brain, and that's why until now no cure has been found other than having a good lifestyle and showing love and care to those who are diseased. But science has lately shown us incredible progress, and we sure aren't far from finding a cure to Alzheimer's so that we can finally forget how to forget. <laughs>